Hey friends, welcome to part 89. Part 88 is in the members area. You can click the link in the description and become a Cloud Kernel or a Cloud Ninja member. Let's look at some of the real questions from the past. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. It will help you with certification only channel, man. Only channel which will help you with digging so deep with each and every option. Focus on the concepts and so on. Let us look at this question now. You have a company. They need EC2 instances for a workload that can tolerate interruptions. The moment you see interruptions means you are running something and the instance can go away. And then you again have to buy the instance and again you can run it. What is this going to deal with spot instances? Spot instances are meant for this purpose. Spot instances gives you 90% discount. Okay. The, the challenge is your workload cannot be a continuous workload. It should be interrupted. It can be interruptible. Okay, then who can use it? Students can use it in your final year projects because students have less money to at their disposal so they can use it so that they can complete their project work and they do not have critical applications that needs to be running all the time and so they can afford interruptions. Simple. So spot instances, massive scale, if you can use, it is low in price, predictable price, easy to use and so on. So this would be my final answer, but let us look at other uh, options. So dedicated host, it is like the entire hardware belongs to you. You do not worry about the data getting compromised with other, other people because they are, you, only you are on that hardware. Okay, It is just like buying a car instead of renting a car. If it is renting a car, then your whatever things you leave behind can be reused by someone else. But if you buy your car, it is your car, man. So that has a very different purpose. Dedicated host, who uses it? Who People who do not like to share. Okay. This easy to instance purchasing option meets with the largest discount. So since we are focusing on cost, okay, I have a question for you. Dedicated instances, are they costly or are they cheaper? Boss, they are damn costly, man. Imagine buying a car is very costly. Renting a car is cheap, right? Cheap in the sense, if you just want a car two days a week or two, sorry, two days a month, then it is cheap because you don't need to buy a car for that. But if you need a car for 30 days a month, then probably buying a car is cheaper. Okay, there comes reserve instances, convertible reserve instances, standard reserve instances. See, reserve instances we saw 72% savings, 72% savings. But with spot instances, you get 90% savings. So which is cheaper? Spot instances are cheaper because 90% is higher than 72. That is why we will not even consider reserve instances because spot instances is the cheapest option. And who told us to look at cheapest option? This largest discount. This word tells us to use the largest discount so spot instances is my final answer so i was just watching youtube and i came across this part of the video where rahul gandhi is you know in a truck in america and he's traveling from washington dc to new york okay he is trying to understand indians problem across the globe and this guy earns eight thousand to ten thousand dollars in the us uh, as a truck driver okay so he's paid highly and this person Rahul Gandhi is trying to understand okay I'm not sure what problem he will solve there this guy is in US he will never come to India he does not want to come to India but anyways let us come to our part so it is always better to understand the uh, perspective different people different political people are trying to bring in on the plate so a company distributes traffic evenly among a fleet of EC2 instances so there are so many EC2 instances and they are uh, you know, distributing the load. It is just like a team lead. The team lead has five people. He or she is trying to distribute the load evenly so that nobody is underutilized, nobody is overutilized. Okay. Now, there will be unpredictable increases in the traffic. What happens is the team lead, even though she or she tries that uh, the, the, the workloads are even, but there can be so much of, suppose well, one fine day, a lot of tickets comes across. So, it is so unpredictable. Okay. Now, in cloud, how will you meet this? What will you call this? Okay. What is the benefit of AWS Cloud to meet this requirement? If it is unpredictable, what you want? Instead of five people, now you need eight people to do the job. What is that? That is called elasticity, on-demand elasticity, scalability. Okay. That is called scalability. In the cloud world, scalable. You can go up, you can go down. Today you have work for eight people, you scale up and become eight. Today you have work for three people, you scale down and become three. That is called scalability. So this would be our final answer. This has no linkage to security. This is not security. This is not resilience. Resilience means anything happens. The, the application will not go down because you are putting this application on multi-AZ deployments or multi-region deployments. So one data center goes down, nobody, no, no worries, nobody. Uh, you can still have your application up through the other data centers, other AZs. 
So let us look at this next question now. See, the moment I see this question, I am looking at SQL injection attacks. The thumb rule clicks in. The moment I you see SQL injection attacks, think about WAF. WAF is meant for common exploits. If you see here, common exploits, and then I'll show you exactly what it is doing. SQL injection cross site scripting. This is what the moment you see XSS cross site scripting SQL injection, WAF is the answer. So we got our answer. But let us look at other options. Now, if you look at option B, that is RDS for SQL Server. This is our database. This is just a database. It is not going to help you with SQL injection attacks. You need a security solution. SQL injection attacks, a security solution. WAF is a security solution. RDS is not a security solution. It is a storage solution. It stores data. Now, what is guard duty? Now, you might say, hey, you are talking about security solution. Isn't guard duty a security solution? Yes, it is an intelligent threat detection system. It is just like your security guard sitting on your premises at the gate. He or she can look at a person and understand this guy is a stupid people. This guy cannot clear certification. This guy may be a thief. Okay, they can make all those sort of guesswork. Ultimately, those are guesswork. Probably based on racial profiling, uh, the, the physical structure, body framework, face frames, and so on. So similarly here, based on certain kind of thing, they try to detect. Uh, and that is what guard duty does. Guard duty will not help you with SQL injection attack. What will it help you with? It will help you with malicious activity, it delivers detailed security findings of visibility and remediations. Now let us look at AWS network firewall. This is just a firewall. This is not going to help you with SQL injection attack. If you are making use of VPCs, then you make, make use of network firewall. This is totally going to work with VPCs. It, it is, works very well with firewall manager. You can build firewall rules, apply those rules or policies across your virtual private clouds and accounts. It is not meant for SQL injection. So WAF would be our final answer. Now, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. It will help you with certification only channel, man. Only channel which will help you with delving so deep into each and every option and arriving at the right answer. Focus on the concepts. You may get exactly same questions or similar questions in the exam. See, some of the questions will definitely be a ripoff from this playlist. Some of the questions will be written in a different way, but the concept would be the same. You apply the concept, you apply the thumb rule, and you will pass successfully. Now, there is a uh, paid content link in the description. Or below the video, there is a join button. Become a Cloud Kernel, Cloud Engine member, gain access to those paid content, free content, plus the paid content will help you elevate your chances of clearing the certification. So this brings us to the end of part 89. Part 88, by the way, is in the paid content area for Cloud Kernel and Cloud Ninja members. Please access it. See you in the next part.